In today's lecture, we'll first continue our topic on community detection. And specifically, we'll talk about detecting overlapping communities. For example, this is a Facebook network where each node is a Facebook user and each app represents a friendship between the users. And the question we ask is, can we identify social communities? And if you take a closer look, you can actually see that um, there, are, there, there are some uh, structures uh, in this graph. For example, these people are all from the same high school, while these students are doing the summer internship in the same company, and these, these students uh, finish uh, their degree in the same college, and these are from the same department as graduate students. So ideally, we want the algorithm to be able to detect such communities. And you may have noticed that in the previous lecture, what we're focusing on is actually non-overlapping communities. And in this case, it's relatively easy because you can pose the problem as a graph cut problem and try to find the optimal cut to split the graph into several communities. And in today's lecture, will mostly focus on overlapping communities. And as you can see, things can get more complicated here. Remember that in the overlapping community detection problem, we usually has a goal of finding a good graph cut. For example, in this graph, maybe probably the best, best solution would be to cut the graph along this direction and split this graph into two communities. And if you look at the, the adjacency matrix of, of this graph, you can see that um, this one is the first communities and this one is the second community. And specifically, if, for example, if some, some node here and another node here, they are connected and the value here would be one and otherwise it will be zero. Therefore, if there is a community here, most likely the, the metrics will be relatively dense here. But what if the communities overlap? For example, here. And in this case, it's not a very good idea to pose it as a graph cut problem because you really don't know where to cut. But luckily, if you look at the adjacency matrix of this graph, you can still see that this submatrix belongs to the first community, and this other submatrix belongs to another community. So basically, we can um, just treat the community as submatrix, and detecting community in this graph will be posed as a problem of discovering relatively dense submatrices.